welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today, what I'm going to do is my part two of my new series. It is my collection and declutter series. I've already done my foundation collection and declutter. So today, what I'm going to do is concealers, color correctors, powders, and eye primers. I figured I could lump all four of those into one video because I don't have a ton of um, color correctors or eye primers. So let's go ahead and get started with concealers. So we're going to go through every single concealer I own and do any type of a little bit of decluttering that I want to do as we're going through them. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my two different e.l.f. concealers. I have the hydrating and then I have the matte. I do really love the hydrating a lot more. It is definitely my preferred of the two. I do like the matte one just during the summer when it's a little warm. So I have that in medium peach. It works really well as a summer color. I definitely can't use this one in the winter because I'm a lot more dry, but I'm going to keep it because it is a really good full coverage along wear concealer from the drugstore. And then I do have two in the hydrating. I have Fair Rose, which is very, very fair. It's almost too fair for me. So I probably am going to declutter this color because every time I use it, it just really washes out my face and I don't like how it looks. I love how it looks under my eyes, but I don't like the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. And then I do have a light peach which is a little dark for me right now but I would prefer to use a bit darker one and then use a brighter powder underneath so I'm going to keep that one and my regular camo one. Next I do have the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. This isn't my absolute favorite concealer. It is a pretty good one from the drugstore. I do have this in light beige, which is a little light for me, but it is a decent concealer. It's very inexpensive, but it's definitely not my absolute favorite. It can look a little heavy under the eyes. I do like the finish and the wear time. It just looks a tiny heavy. I have my Jeffree Star Concealer. This is in C11. I have bought multiple of this concealer. I really do like it. It has been in favorite videos year and year again. This is a really great concealer. I love the finish. It has a really nice skin-like kind of satin finish. Looks great under the eyes. If my voice sounds a little different, I do have a bit of a cold. I feel a little under the weather. So if you hear anything different in my voice, that is it. Next, I'm going to go over all my Tarte concealers. So I do have the original Shape Tape. I have this in 22 Neutral. That's a really great tone for me. I like this one a lot. It's not my absolute favorite, but I do love the coverage. I normally go for something a little bit more hydrating. So when they came out with the Ultra Creamy, I was super excited. I also have this in 22 Neutral. It's a really good color for me. And I definitely prefer the Ultra Creamy. I'm was out of the ultra creamy and I would repurchase the ultra creamy for sure because I really like the formula it has really great coverage they say the elf camo and hydrating is a dupe for this I definitely prefer this just a little bit more it settles under the eyes just a little bit nicer and the other one is my shape tape glow wand and I have this in a light this is really really beautiful it is very light to sheer I wouldn't use this really as a concealer but more as a concealer topper if it's looking a little heavy or cakey this has some beautiful glow. I really love how this looks on the skin. It really does just brighten up your face and looks gorgeous. A new one I have been trying out quite a lot. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. I have this in a color that is very, very dark. I have this in Sugar Light. It's definitely way too dark for me. I do like the finish of it. The coverage is pretty sheer. has a light glowy kind of finish on the skin looks really good I do like it I think I'll get a lot more use out of it during the summer I can definitely use this right now if I use my mixing pigments but I would definitely probably will use this a lot more during the summer holy grail concealer this is the Pat McGrath skin finish I love this I have it in L7 and L4 this works really well it's such a expensive kind of bougie packaging it is glass I love this it has really great coverage it looks fantastic under the eyes wears all day long it has a really good satin skin like finish it doesn't look too heavy or cakey under the eyes but it has incredible coverage I really love this it is super expensive though so that is like the biggest downfall when I am going to declutter this the Catrice true skin I have this in a neutral bisque it is too dark It is super super dark I can't even really manipulate the color I do want to get this one in a lighter color because I haven't really been able to test out the formula because of the color next one is the NYX this is bear with me concealer serum I've been using this quite a bit I do really like the finish it is super glowy and healthy looking looks really nice under the eyes it does cake up just a little bit more but if you really tap it in and use a good setting powder it does work 
really well. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. This is my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is a pretty decent full coverage concealer. The color doesn't work out for me very well. It is definitely too light for the summer but then it's too dark for the winter. It's very yellow under my eyes. I don't really like a yellow concealer. I definitely need something a little bit more neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I've had it in my collection for a long time and I definitely prefer other concealers more. I have pretty much used up my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have this in 20 CP. I am not a huge fan of this. It was pretty heavy under my eyes, didn't look great, the color was really light, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that, and I definitely would not buy a full size one of this, I'm really glad I got the mini. Another holy grail concealer, this is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue, I have this in 08 Light, love this, this is a fantastic full coverage, this definitely has more of a matte finish than the Pat McGrath, the coverage is incredible, I really like the color and tone of this one, and it works so great on my under eyes. Another favorite is the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminator. This is so great. It's a very sheer, luminous, glowy, doesn't give a ton of coverage, just kind of corrects the darkness under your eyes just a little bit. Love this concealer a lot. I do have this in light. It works really great for me, and I love this concealer. It's beautiful. I do have two under eye correctors. I have the Becca Under Eye, and then I also have the Milani Supercharge in Pink Rose. I really love both of these. This one is definitely a little bit more of a opaque pigmented, kind of thicker one. It works really good if you're going to use this alone, but once you start layering a lot of stuff on top, it can get a little heavier. This is definitely a little bit lighter, thinner, more water consistency. It doesn't give you as much color correction. This one definitely gives you more, but they are a lot alike. They're not super, super different. It's really about the consistency. This is definitely a bit thicker, a little bit more pigmented, and this is a little bit lighter. There are all my concealers and my color correctors. I am going to declutter four concealers, so that's pretty good. I don't I don't have a ton of concealers, so I don't feel bad about the collection that I do have. I do really love all the concealers I have. I don't feel bad that I'm only decluttering four. I feel pretty good about that. Let's move on to our powders. First powder is the JCAT Aqua Assurance. This is a powder foundation. I do not use these as a powder foundation. I really use them as kind of a detailing powder, something to clean up my wing liner. You can chisel out your jawline. I can set the side of my nose a little bit. So I do have it in porcelain and I have it in ivory. These definitely run dark. The ivory is pretty dark. This is my summer shade. And the porcelain is a really great, very light color. These are very pigmented, very kind of heavier powders. You gotta be careful not to use too much because it can look a little bit cakey. They do remind me a lot of my new Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening Palette. These powders are very pigmented. They really do smooth out your skin. You just have to be careful not to use too much because it can get heavy. I do not use them all over my face. I definitely only use them in very pinpoint targeted areas, but I really love this powder. Uh, loose powder, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I'm going to put this in a shop my stash type kind of bag, so I need to get a little bit more use out of this, but I don't think it's a complete favorite. I might end up decluttering this um, just because I don't use it a ton. What I am going to declutter, this is the number 7's Lift and Illuminate Triple Action. It uses quite a lot. It's very light. I think I need a little bit of a darker color. This is quite light. It's very sheer. One thing I don't like about this powder is when you do apply it to your under eyes, it does darken my under eyes. So no matter how light they are, it instantly darkens them up. I don't really like that if I'm going to set my under eyes. I'd rather do it with a translucent powder and then go in with something more pigmented to add more brightness. I don't want to darken my under eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Another one I'm going to declutter, this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I've never really liked it. It's definitely too dark for me and it is no longer available. I'm go ahead and declutter this. It's a little heavy. It looks pretty cakey on my skin and I'm not a huge fan of this powder. A powder that they have discontinued and it breaks my heart. I absolutely love this powder. I use it daily. This is the NYX High Glass finishing powder. I wish I had known they were decluttering it because I would have bought another one. This is a very unique product. It is very shiny and shimmery. If you, if you use it with a dense brush and you put a lot on, it could definitely look like a highlighter. Use a big fluffy powder brush and just brush it all over. It looks gorgeous. I do not use this on my cheeks because it can emphasize texture a little bit. So I really love using this along my jawline, in the middle of my nose, and then on my forehead. It adds a beautiful amount of sheen. 
but it does kind of perfect the skin a little bit unless there is quite a lot of texture but this is a really great product I love it a lot in powders the Jeffree Star this is the magic star in fair my absolute favorite loose setting powder I really love this it has a little bit of sheen but not like glitter it just adds a tiny bit of luminosity it looks really healthy is not super heavy it smells like cotton candy this is a great powder the next one is the hard candy chill wonder powder I really do like this it does add a really beautiful kind of like filter on your face it looks very seamless it's not super heavy I can use this in the same way I use this where I will just very lightly set my under eyes and then use something a little bit more pigmented to really brighten up my under eyes one of my favorite setting powders right now is the Kosas this is the cloud set and breezy I really love this it never gets heavy it never gets cakey it doesn't look bad on my under eyes also set my under eyes and then use something a little bit heavier on top but this looks great so this is the Jaclyn Brightening and Setting Palette. I love this so much. I use it daily. Ever since I've used it, I have not skipped a day. I love the different colors. I can use anything I'm feeling. I am already seeing a dip in my two lightest colors. Those are the ones I use right now. These two I will use during the summer. I love this. I would absolutely repurchase this. I do have really dry skin so I can't use a ton of powder. This is something I will take a sponge, kind of tap it in, and then just lightly tap it on my under eyes. It makes them look so seamless, smooth, really, really great. It's never too heavy or cakey. I love this so much. This is absolutely one of my favorite purchases from 2021. I have my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Cupcake. I love this because it is a light pink. It is very brightening. It works really good for me right now at my most fair. I love having this in my collection. It's a really great powder. It's definitely a little bit more coverage than the Jeffree Star or the Hard Candy. This is a fantastic one. And then the last powder, this one I'm going to go ahead and declutter. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is a good powder. I do really like it. It does seem to have turned a little bit. I don't know if it's something in the formula that now it's starting to react a little bit different to my makeup. It doesn't have the cooling sensation on your face anymore. It feels a little heavy. You know, Becca is no longer available, so I can't even use this on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, give it to a friend or a sister, someone that could definitely use it. So that is great. I did declutter another three powders. I feel good about that. I am so excited to have in my collection just things that I really love so I'm glad to be going through everything and kind of moving out the products that I'm just not getting use out of and then I can give it to someone who could definitely use it so next let's go ahead and move on to eyelid primers my two most used and most loved the max paint pot and then I have the revolution eye elements in core I love the revolution pro eye elements it is my favorite potted eye primer this one, it works so well. I'm having a hard time finding it, so I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it, which is extremely saddening to me. I really do love this. And then I do have the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I also really like this. I definitely like the color of this one a little bit more. It's lighter, so it really holds onto the pigment and makes every shadow I put on top a lot more vivid. So I'm hoping they're not discontinuing it, but I will definitely keep both of those. An eye primer so far that I've been using, I'm not a huge fan of, but I will keep using it. This is the Peaches and Cream Eyeshadow Primer. I did end up having to squeeze quite a bit out of this because every time I would use it, it would just squirt all over and make a giant mess. It is very dark. It'll work probably a little bit better during the summer. It's extremely pigmented, so I do like that because I do have darker eyelids. So I like having this to cover all of my veins and discoloration, the redness. I'll continue to use this. I think maybe it just hasn't been working for me all that great but I will continue using it. An eye primer that actually really surprised me this is the Ace Butte Amplifying Eyeshadow Base in Light. I really like the color it is a very light color it's lighter than the Revolution Pro Eye Elements. It has almost a luminosity to it which is not necessary but I do really like it. It smooths over my eyes has a good coverage and pigmentation and really does hold on to my eyeshadows they don't crease I have an issue with creasy kind of oilier lids. A lot of my eyeshadows do crease but with this primer they don't so I really have been enjoying this. An oddball product that I use absolutely every single day. I use this to go ahead and set my eyeshadow primer. This is the One Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. I use this all the time. I've gone through probably 10 of them. It is a very matte, very pigmented bone color. It's light. It covers everything perfectly. It gives me the perfect smooth colored canvas to put all my eyeshadows on top of it. I really do love that. There is my collection and declutter for my concealers, my powders, my eye primers, and all of that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.